Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Build at Home. I'm your host, Brittany Jones Cooper. And today I'm really pumped to be catching up with Lane Hardy. But before we bring on Lane, I want to remind you guys to visit nokidhungry.org. Uh, because of school cancellations, 704 million school meals have been missed. And there's a lot of kids and communities who rely on that food. So if you're looking for a way to help, make sure you visit nokidhungry.org. And now I want to welcome today's guest, Lane Hardy. Hey, Lane, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing okay. Good. I'm doing okay. Uh, where are you right now? I'm back at home right now in Louisiana. Who are you with? Um, I'm with my family and uh, friends. Yeah. So what's it been like for you over the last um, couple of weeks, you know, just being at home with everybody? Well, I've just been on the river and uh, I've just been around the house a lot. But uh, that's really all. I've just been hanging out, you know. <laughs> you got to tell me, what have you been doing to stay busy? Because I know I've been getting a little stir crazy. I've been like I've been fishing. I've been building random things, helping my mom build a garden and stuff. But oh, that's good home. stuff. Yep. Fishing is that something you grew up doing? Mm -hmm. Well, I tried to go fishing, but they're not biting that good right now in this time of year. You think the fish are also self social distancing? Uh, so it feels like it. Sounds like. <laughs> it. Have you uh, picked up any new skills during this kind of downtime? Well, I've just been. Um, practicing guitar more and uh, just getting more ideas for songs to write, you know? So has it, I was going to ask, has this been a time for you to really sort of create new music? I mean, you have the free time. Oh yeah. This is a great time for me to uh, just gather inspiration because my inspirations all come from home. Um, mm. It's a big thing for me. So I guess uh, I've been writing down some things and getting ready to write songs when all this is over. What inspires you so much about home, Louisiana? Just something about it with me. I feel like I feel like just this, this is where my um, heart is, and this is uh, what makes me who I am. So uh, I, I just this is all I feel home all the time. That's really beautiful. And your new song "Ground I Grew Up On" mm -hmm. is about that. So tell me how that song came to you and why you loved it so much. Well, the song first came about when I started working with Michael Knox and uh, when me and him were trying to hone in to figure out what songs we were going to pick and record. Uh, this this song came about <clears throat> and three amazing songwriters in Nashville. It was uh, Brandon Kenny. Um, uh, I think it was just it was Brandon Kenny. It was just Brandon Kenny. And um, he wrote that song. And when it was like shown to me, I was like, wow. It's like really relatable and spot on to to what I grew up doing. And like, it just, I felt really connected to it. So now when I sing that song, all I think about is just being a, a kid and um, running around barefooted and climbing trees and stuff like that. Yeah, I listened to this song and I grew up in Nebraska doing the same stuff. And I immediately was transported back. It's, the lyrics are so powerful. Um, and I know you shot the video for it down home. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we shot the video out here in uh, Livingston, and that was it was a really fun day for me, and it was my first music video, so it was a great experience, and we got to go on the river and shoot some things there, and uh, we just got to do a lot of things that I grew up doing, and I still do to this day. This was your first music video? It was, it was. So wait, you got to take me through the emotions and excitement around that. You said that so casually. <laughs> well, the day of, I didn't know what to expect, really. Um, I, I've never had to really, I never really did one, so um, I was new to it. So um, it was early in the morning when we started. We started, like, I woke up really early, like 5.45, 6 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I had to get, like, wardrobe and makeup done. And then uh, um, we went to this first location, which was, which was down the road, and we shot some things there. And then we came back for lunch and went on the river the rest of the day. And the your friends in the video, are those real friends or actors? That's all my friends and um, cousins. That's so fantastic. What does it mean for you to get to include all your family in your first music video? That's pretty dope. Well, it means a lot to me because I can always look back on it and uh, I know what I got. Yeah. And Were there I, any yeah. bloopers or anything? There's, there's probably some. There's some in there. Um, <laughs> There's there's some. I need to find them. I need to find them. <laughs> and then your uh, second new single is called Let There Be Country. So uh, let's talk about that one. That was a little more upbeat. 
Uh, what was the kind of tone and inspiration behind wanting to put out that song? Uh, well, first off, that, that song was written by um, Jason Affable, um, Steve Mokler, uh, and um, Tim Nichols. And that song, I heard it when I was writing in Nashville. I wrote in Nashville for like three months mm -hmm. and last year, right off the show. And I heard that song. I was like, that's a cool song. Like, I, I feel like it's up, like it's up tempo. And um, it, I could, we put like a classic rock kind of influence into it. And that's what I grew up listening to, which is old, old music. It's all I listen to. And uh, that song is just really country and uh, I'm, I'm country. So <laughs> I love it. Do you love performing it? Mm hmm It's a really fun song to perform because yeah. every, it's like the truth, you know? And I know you're on a little bit of a virtual tour. How has all of this been trying to share your new music, you know, but not being able to be out with fans? Well, it's kind of, it's kind of like different for me and it's different for a lot of people. But um, since we can't go out on the road right now, I'm glad uh, like social media and uh, technology can make a way to connect with the fans. And I, I was open to it. So I was like, yeah, that, that would be awesome. And uh, I'm really excited to be doing it. Um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm glad to be do like connecting with the fans. That's yeah. all I'm going to say because it's, uh, it's like, ha it has me out of my seat at home. I just want to go on the road and play again, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, you, you got started on American Idol. You won last year. Uh, I would imagine just in the last year, your life has been crazy. Um, so what has been just like the biggest thing you've learned about the music industry or being a performer in, in just the last year? Um, I think two of the biggest things for me would be um, not to give up and just keep chasing that that goal that you got. Um, and then just don't change who you are. And um, it's going to be hard, but at the end, it's going to be worth it. Yeah. And does it seem like a blur, all of it? I saw every question I've got like about the process and stuff. I've I've told them like a general like idea because that's all I remember. But it's it it was a blur. Like um, yeah. I feel like it was yesterday. That's how it feels. Cause, I can imagine that's such a big stage. There's so mm -hmm. much energy. You obviously yeah. weren't a part of that world before then. You know, it just mm -hmm. have to be the biggest adjustment. I cannot even imagine. Yeah, from when Ryan Seacrest called my name to now, it's like. <laughs> Uh, just time travel or something because it, it feels like a second that's amazing and uh i have to ask you know american idol is on the air now and they're mm -hmm. going to be doing performances over the internet are you going to be watching are you excited to see how they pull this off yeah i'm excited to see and uh really um intrigued by what they're going to be doing i'm ready to see how the process works but yeah i'm gonna be watching it for sure. And uh, before we go, uh, we have these two new, new singles, but are you working on an album? Um, we're going to work up to an album and uh, eventually release it. I'm really excited about that. But uh, we're going to get into the studio as soon as possible. Yeah. And have you thought about uh, what you want to say in your album? Um, well, I'm, I'm thinking along the lines of just staying who I am and, and um, adding some like influences from like my musical mm. um, idols and stuff like that from the 50s to the 60s, 70s. But, Who are uh, some yeah. of those idols? <clears throat> um, Elvis Presley, uh, Chuck Berry, um, Jimi Hendrix, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Manhattan. Um, let's see. There's a lot. Rolling Stones, Leonard Skinner. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of them. I love that. Well, there's just so many places too where country intersects with blues, intersects with mm -hmm. rock. So have you thought about what your sound is within that world? Well, I think for me, I, I'm i like a, I love traditional country. Mm -hmm. I love classic rock and I love blues. Blues I love the most. I love mm -hmm. blues the most. So, um, Somewhere in there, I I like I've been playing guitar since I was seven or eight years old, and uh, that's my go-to instrument, and that's my go-to everything, you know. Yeah, 
It's so cool. And it's been so cool to watch your journey over the last year. And I've been listening to your songs all morning. So thanks for giving me something to like right. rock out to in my apartment. Mm -hmm. uh, and if anybody is out there who hasn't listened to them, they are both streaming now on wherever you get your music, right? Mm -hmm. uh, awesome. They stream on all platforms right now. And you can go also go check out the music video for Ground I Grew Up On. You can see uh, a lot of cool places that I grew up going. I love that. I love yeah. that. Well, Lane, thank you for joining us today. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay inside. We'll see you next time, okay? Thank you. Bye. Bye.